Hello and welcome back. Today's topic is the square two round. This is our, the model that I've made. We have a 100mm square base, 80mm height and a 60mm round diameter on the top. We're going to be using triangulation to find this and we're going to be doing a half plan view of this. This is done in two halves as you've seen just here. So we've got a half with lap and a half without lap. So let's move this out of the way and find out how we made this. Let's get that out of the way. And first of all, we start off by drawing a baseline. Then we need to do a side elevation. We know it's 100 mil, so we're just drawing 100 mil here, back in the centre. 80 mil height. And the 30 mil round diameter on the top will be represented by a straight line. And we just draw, join all those points together. So we have a 60 mil diameter top, which is round, 80 mil of height and a 100mm base which is square. So next to that we draw 100mm square. This is our plan view. Mark in the centres. Join the centres together. Next, we open our dividers up to thirty mil to give us our sixty mil diameter. Place that in the centre and scratching a circle. Divide up in the usual manner. We're only dividing the top half up because we're only making a half plan view. If we're making a full plan view, we'd divide um, the rest of it up in the same manner. Once you've done that, each one of these points we take down to the corner and the same on this side. Let's get that done. With this being a symmetrical shape, you could just do this off a quarter plan view. We should just be one of these squares. We're doing a half plan view, so we're doing a half of it. Of course you could make this any size you wanted. This is just a demonstration and it fits nicely on the page. So there's our uh, half plan view. So all that's left to do now is label that. So we're going to go A, B, C, and D and number it one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Next to that we're going to draw in 
our true lamps chart. We know it's 80 mil high, so we just draw in a line of 80 mil. That represents our height. Makes a right angle. And then we open our dividers up to A1. A1 and D7 are the same because it's a symmetrical shape. Just play, just check, let's show you that. See? we we'll just put a scratch in there. And we label that A1 and D7. Next to that, we open our dividers up to B1. B1 and B4 are the same. And so is C4 and C7. So we just let's put a scratch in there and label that B1, B4, C4 and C7. Next we need to open our devices up to B2. B2 and B3 are the same, same as C5 and C6. So we'll just put a scratch in just there. And we label that B2, B3, C5 and C6. Six. Now we have all the information we need to start our squirt around. So what we do is we draw in this line here, BC, which we know is 100mm. So we just draw in a 100mm line. And we label that B. C. Next we open our dividers up to B1. And put an arc in. And the same on this side. Put an arc in. And we label that 4. What we've done and we're going to draw this straight into the so you go to the centre here. Let's draw that straight in. And what we've done is we've drawn this triangle here. That's what it looks like. So what we need to do now is take our dividers. And open up to any one of these positions because they're all the same, it's a symmetrical shape, all the same. And we just place that on the top, put a scratch in, and the same on the other side, put a scratch in. And take our dividers and open them up to B2. On it, put a scratch in, put a scratch in, and we label those three and five. And we take our dividers, we use the same position there, just take them back up to that, from the centre of there, put an arc in. And the same there. Put an arc in. We'll check our dividers and open them up to B2. Back to the corner. Put an arc in. Put an arc in. We label those two. 
six. To go dividers, open them up into this division here. Put an arc in. Same over here. Put an arc in. Now we open our dividers up to B1. Is up to half the amount, so we go from A into B. And we just put an arc in from that corner there, and the same on this side here. Then we open our dividers up to A1. Seven, place that on one and join them up. So we just draw the tops in. And the same this way. So there we have it. There's half of our square to round there. You could draw this out again and add lap, or you could add lap and then take it off again so as usual I usually just go just this is just demonstration purposes so I go a centimeter in a centimeter out you can make this as big or as small as you like it's totally up to you just take the that off to the corner And the same again on this side. Centimeter out. Join that up. Just one off to the corner. And the same this side. So there you have it, squirt around with lap, the whole thing, and you can draw around this, mark in the points, put in your fold line points, like that, one with lap, one without lap, put it through the folder, and when you have done that, you will end up with this, the perfect square to round. 
So thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you found this very useful and enjoy making this fitting. Please like and share and until next time as always goodbye and remember practice makes perfect. Thank you and goodbye.